So you want to start a vending machine company? Okay, let me help you. And that's why I keep going harder and harder. Aisha G and welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you like comment and subscribe before you leave and if you're not new thanks for coming back all right so to be completely honest I'm very excited to record this video because I've recorded this video almost five times I'm exaggerating I probably recorded it three times but if you record videos like if you do YouTube you understand that Recording a video, getting it all together, editing, like that's a whole process. Like that's a whole little thing that you gotta do. So for this to be like my third or fourth time trying to record this video, I'm excited to do it and get it over with. <laughs> for real, y'all, for real. Just a little introduction real quick. My name is Aisha. I own a vending machine company in Houston, Texas called Trisha Soap Goods and Services. I started this company in 2020 before all this little COVID pandemic stuff started. Everything was good back then. Now, we in August, about to be in September, y'all, and the world is looking like something I've never seen before. But that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. So let's get into business, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna be answering some of the frequently asked questions that I get in my under my videos. I wanna let y'all know that I do see every video, every comment that y'all leave under my videos. Every single one, it comes up like a notification on my phone. And I always try to either reply or at least, you know, like the comment because I'm gonna get back to it. I was always getting like comments and questions about the vending machine business this is my time to give y'all the answers that y'all been waiting for so are y'all ready to get into this business honey all right let's get into it so in this video i'm gonna be answering a few questions where did i get my machine how did i find my machine the script i use to talk to business owners and a couple of personal tips that i want to give to you guys so if you want the answers to all of those topics and if you want a little bit more insight about the vending business please watch this video all the way to the end if you don't just make sure you subscribe before you leave maybe this video is not for you but next time we got you so I get this question a lot everybody wants to know where did you get your first machines how do you find them where do I go because one thing about it if you go to Google right now and type in vending machine they will give you a lot of options there's a lot of companies around around there y'all and it's not just in your city in your state there's vending machine companies all over the world okay so if you was to type in vending machines for sale you're gonna find some nice machines but they're first off gonna be very expensive. It's gonna be halfway across the world. You're not gonna know like, you know, too much about the machines. I never go to Google when I'm looking for my machines, okay? Where I go, and I'm about to put y'all on game real fast, real fast. I usually try to look places that I know that I can, you know, I don't know how to put it. Okay, so when I'm looking for machines, I never try to Go on google because one thing you can't see the machine before you buy it i'm the type of person is i i like to see the stuff i don't even like online shopping too much for clothes because i want to actually touch the clothes i want to see how thick it is i want to see you know the actual color because online it can look totally different and then i want to see if it fit me so that's the same thing with a vending machine you want to actually be able to go and look at the machine every machine that i have ever bought I have went to test it out before I even bought it. Because how can you buy a product and you don't even know if it's going to work? Of course they're going to say, oh yeah, nothing's wrong with it. Nothing's wrong. Everything works perfectly fine. So you buy a machine for over $1,500. You have it shipped here or wherever you are for three, four, five hundred dollars And then you got a machine that you barely know how to use. You don't even know if it's going to work. And... I ain't got time for that. Looking for my machines, I usually go to simple places, okay? Right in front of your face. I'm gonna go to Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna go to Instagram. Um, I use Instagram hashtags to search all the time. 
I'm going to go to Craigslist for sure. I'm going to go to Offer Up. I'm even probably going to go to eBay to look for something that's close to me. So the most luck that I've had finding my machines has always been Facebook Marketplace. Now let me tell you, okay, usually Facebook Marketplace don't really have too many like really good options because some of the machines that I like find on there are kind of older. So if you're looking for something more modern, you might want to go to Google and just type in and pay that money or whatever. But one thing for, about it is that some of these companies that you're going to find on Facebook Marketplace, they may not have the machine right there, like on the page that they sell it. But some of those people have warehouses full of machines where they have like this business where they refurbish with like machines and stuff. So that's going to be the best place. My first few machines that I've ever purchased came from Facebook Marketplace. So I'll try to show y'all real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all exactly how I find my machines on Facebook Marketplace. So I have my phone right here. Okay, I'm going to go to Facebook. And then at the bottom you have all of these little box I mean little notifications or menu options or whatever so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Facebook marketplace which is the one in the middle and the Facebook mar marketplace pops up so I'm gonna use this little search bar at the top and I'm gonna type in vending machines so when you do that all the vending machines that's in your area is gonna like pop up so I'm gonna click on the one that says vending machines for sale and there we go so like I said some of them are gonna be bad some of them are gonna be really good you never really gonna know until you actually go down this so like the first one we say 680 for a snack machine you'll click on that look at the pictures they only have one so I'm not exactly sure you know it just depends I mean you I I'm a visual person so I'm gonna look at it if I don't like the outside I'm not buying it period unless I feel like I can get like a better deal by selling it or something like that but that's another story but this one right here I'm not, I'm not too fond of that the outside of it but I'll just give you all an example so say I was looking at this vending machine it says vending machine $680 which is not bad it's a snack machine um and if I wanted this I would just send her a message that says hey is this still available and they'll you know message you back so after the person messages you back I'm just trying to look down Oh, here's the thing, okay? Before I even get into that part. So, you're on Facebook Marketplace or whatever, and you see something like this. It says, free vending machine supplier for your business. That's, if you're looking to buy a vending machine, those people are not the people that you want to talk to. These are people who is saying, hey, I have a vending machine company already. I can put my machines into your company for free. And that's what, basically, when you get your vending machine company, that's, kind of what you're gonna do because I do it all the time like I'll make an ad or something like hey I'll give this these machines to you for free you don't have to do anything because honestly that's what it is like I'm basically giving you these for free you don't pay anything you don't stock anything up so that's what that company is talking about so if you're looking to buy a vending machine and you see an ad like this vending machine supplier free for your business you don't wanna that's not something that you want See, if you look in the description, it basically says we offer complimentary vending machine services to Houston and surrounding areas. So that's not something that you want. But there's all types of like different ways that you can like find good machines. All different ways. So yeah, that's Facebook Marketplace. Okay. So you searched on Facebook Marketplace. You found the machine that you want. You sent the seller a message saying, hey, is this available? I'm interested. You know, now you guys are in communication. It's just like, oh yeah, it's still available. You always want to ask for a uh, testing. Like you always want to go see and test it because people will say, oh yeah, it's good, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But then when you get the machine after you paid all this money, it's kind of like you screwed yourself over, to be honest. So that's not what you want to do. You want to always go set up a meeting, schedule something so that y'all can actually go and test the machines. The first time I did it, um, I was kind of it was kind of weird, but I 
notice that everybody does the same thing so when you go and meet somebody and i do the same thing when customers come and look at my machines too i always tell them like hey you know you can come and look at it test it out i always have like soda cans and um coins and dollar bills and stuff like that so they can always test the machine before they even take it we want to make sure that the machine that you are looking for is actually something that you want so always test your machines Another question that I'm always asked is, what do you say to the business owners when you go into these businesses? And this is something that I want to tell everybody. I wish I could like scream it from a mountaintop. Be original. It's nothing else that I can say to you. Everybody's like, oh, what's your script? Like, what do you say? I mean, like me, I can talk to anybody about anything. So it's never a... Uh, I'm never like, oh, I, I just don't know. I just don't know what to say. I mean, sometimes, of course, we're all human. But I'm saying, like, when it comes to business and vending machines, I'm definitely about to go in there and say whatever I need to say. And I'm not saying that I'm, like, trying to get over or anything. But you just got to be original. I'm talking to them just like I talk to anybody else. First off, when I walk into a building, I already got my work shirt on. So they know my business. They know my name. And they know that I'm the CEO. Let's let's be completely honest. At first, when I got these shirts, I was like, let me take this CEO part off. But I would just be standing in the store or getting gas or something, and somebody would ask me about my company because they know that I'm the head of it. So they're like, oh, I'm talking to the boss. When I walk into these buildings, say I'm walking into a motel and I'm talking to the person behind the desk. So I'm like, hi, can I speak to your manager? And they're like, oh yeah, just a second. Or someone would be like, I am the manager, whatever. I'm like, hi, my name is Aisha. I own a vending machine company, and I. Notice that you guys don't have any vending machines in the hallways for your guests. And some of them be like, oh yeah, you know, we had one a few years ago, whatever, whatever. You're like, oh, okay, well, here's my business card, here's my flyer. And if you guys need any services, I place the machines, I stock the machines, I sanitize the machines. Everything is on me. You don't have to worry about anything. All I need is space. And usually they're like, oh, okay, cool. So I don't have to, you know, put the machine. I'm like, no, that's my job. Don't worry about that. While we're talking about business, we still kind of, you know, being friendly. You want to make them feel comfortable. You don't want to go in there like stuttering like, oh, I, you know, I just wanted to know it. Like, no, bro, that's not the time. Make sure you practice in the car, whatever you're going to say. But me, I'm shooting off the hip. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Let me stop. So oh, it's whatever you want to say, like whatever you want to say, you got to write it down, study it, whatever. Do what you got to do to place that machine. And that's it. So I hope that this video is so much, I hope it goes through y'all. Like I said, I've recorded this video many times. I hope I answered y'all questions, but if not, just leave them in the comments and I will answer them in the next video. I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff. When I go back and watch this video, I'm sure that I'm going to be like, dang, I should have said that. Dang, I should have said that. But it's all good. Share with your friends. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, thanks for rocking with me. And I will see y'all next time. See you later.